we're doing here is uh, setting the float on a carburetor. Now, the float height usually comes from um, the shop manual. And you should always check the shop manual um, and don't try and guess at this. A lot of times you'll see um, um, a lot of carburetors I've worked on. If you set this thing so everything kind of looks like parallel, you see where the, the little tab where the tang and everything is, um, you could usually get away with that. This carburetor, not so much. Um, the spec was 26 millimeters. Uh, this is actually our carburetor off of DS80. So how I would set them, you see right in there. Oh, oh this is hard to do. See that little thing sticking out? That is your float needle. Um, that tang that pushes down on it, see it's just sitting on it right there? That's what closes that valve. That little spring loading uh, uh, action there, that's, that's just a, a dampener. That's actually, as soon as this touches, it's already closed. So what you wanna do is set it so it's just touching. Don't try and measure a carburetor like that. That this doesn't work. It'll you'll be off by a millimeter or so. What you want to do is tip it on this angle, and then pull it up so it's not touching, and then just let it fall back in. It'll fall real gently, and then you could measure the distance from here to the flattest part here. It's usually what they call the gasket face. As you see, mine should be at 26 mil. Um, and I'm pretty close there. Usually they're pretty forgiving, but a smaller carburetor is not so forgiving. So you kind of want to be bang on. And then if you have any issues afterwards, you can deal with that through your jetting. With this one, I have customized the exhaust. So we'll also be changing the main jet, which is right here. You can tell the sizes of the main jet, because it's written on the top here. I know you can't see that in there, but this one is a, a Makuni number 65 hex head. What I'm going to do is change the throttle needle up one position to lean it out, and then I'm going to lean this. So from a 65, uh, maybe I'll go down to a 55 down here on the bottom. That's uh, where the needle slides up and down. That's eight mil. The main jet itself is six. So you just uh, gently pull that guy up, put him back in the jet box, and then we take this 55 and screw it in. And you just want to seat that gently. Just, just get it seated in there. You don't want to start mashing in the brass or doing any kind of weird crap. Like this, this is brass stuff. So. You want to be kind of gentle with it, um, but firm. Just kind of give it a nice. You'll kind of feel it. It's like kind of rub against each other. That's uh, what brass tends to do. Well, remember when you measure your distance from here to the float uh, from the that there's no gasket sitting there. You have to take the gasket off. It's the gasket surface, not the gasket itself. So when you put these guys in, make sure your gasket's seated in there nicely. As you see, it's got a lip. Push that in. I gotta sing the doom song now. Doom 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 Back here at the doohickey, you see the, um, the cable, a um, little nubby there, seats in there. What you have to do is compress the spring, pull the cable down and get it out of that seat. You'll get this piece out and then your springs and everything fall all over the floor because I can't pay attention to what I'm doing. Inside of there you usually have a keeper that holds the thing down. You can sometimes just lightly push on the bottom of the needle and that thing will come out. Um, if it's being stubborn, then you should uh, get a, maybe a, a pair of needle nose pliers and 
uh, just, you know, lightly grab it and pull it up. Because you don't want to put too much pressure on your needle. If you, if you bend this thing in any way or scar it, it becomes garbage. Okay, you grab a set of needle nose pliers, you grab a whole little clippy part, and then you just pull that clip off. Then you figure out the position you want it in. I was in a number two position, and I want to be leaner, so I'm going up. So we're going to just put this thing smack dab in the middle. What I like to do is go back this way, and then kind of push it in, and for peace of mind, would I, I always grab the clip, and then I spin the needle. If you can spin that freely, that means the clip is fully seated in there. Nice. So then you put this guy back in there, and then you take this guy. And, uh, some of these are odd and may get in the way of the cable, so you just gotta make sure um, you put them in the right position. Like, I always like mine like that, it's kind of, what is that, perpendicular to the cable slot? Ugh. I don't know math and I don't know English. That's what it is. Ah, you son of a bee. Okay. Ah. Alright. And then you take this and you put it all back together. Goes there. Make sure you pull your cable all the way down. And you bring this into there. Compress that spring. And that little guy in the slot back into his position. A spring down in the hole and screw that part right on back into your carburetor. I'm gonna say it's um, it was rich. Um, so yeah, um, I go out one position on the needle. Um, I left my float a little bit low. Like it says 26, I'm closer to 27 millimeters. And um, Went uh, went down two sizes on the main jet. Um, all right, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.